My friends, this is brutal. All of these here. A Minnesota man just mapped all of the 2020 to 2021 carjackings in Minneapolis. Right, that's just, I, I hope they do this for all the areas. And many of these here, many of these are delivery drivers and drivers. And the company has a duty to spend money and tighten security so that we don't end up as dots on this map. Many of these individuals have lost their lives, stabbing, shooting, etc. It's un effing acceptable, right? And these CEOs, these CEOs can do so much better. Um, bit of advice, get yourself one of these display ride dash cams and have the footage uploaded into the cloud so that you don't end up as one of these statistics here. So uh, many, a Minnesota man, I hope a San Antonio man, I hope a Tampa man, I hope an LA man comes forward or woman. Um, so in this case, a Minnesota man has just mapped out all of the Minneapolis carjacking so far in 2021 and all of 2020 on, on an online map. The results are mind blowing with how many vehicles have been stolen over a one year period. And it seems like we've only just started to hear about it. You can head to the interactive map here and I'll put the link below uh, made by Steve Taylor that allows you to zoom in and move around the map as well as hover over the colored pins. Red is 2021, yellow is 2020 that tell you the date of the carjacking, the area in which the carjacking occurred, as well as where the previous carjacking happened previous from that point and also where the next one occurred. Uh, the numbers are really mind blowing, according to the data from Steve Taylor in a post to the Uptown Crime page so far in 2021, there have been 492 carjackings and 2020 had 170 total for one year, total of 662 carjackings in Minneapolis. Taylor added in the post that this doesn't include car thefts, which there have been an additional 3,387. Between car thefts and carjackings, robbery with car theft, there have been a total of 3,879 cars taken. Almost 1% of the population of Minneapolis have had their car taken in 2021. That's one out of, when, one out of every 100 people and 4,035 car thefts, carjackings in 2020. Think about that for a second. The amount of car thefts and carjacking equates to that, yeah, to what would be 1% of the total population of Minneapolis having their car occupied or not taken from them. The area that has seen the most carjackings this year in Minneapolis has been the area of 35 West and East Franklin in the West to Hiawatha Avenue and in the East 26th Street to the South. The data used on the map was created a few days ago and may not have the most recent number of victims from carjackings on it. We part of that, we're in those statistics, ladies and gentlemen, it's disgusting, right? And the companies have to do better. And law enforcement on the ground also have to do better, right? They've got to crack these rings. So I hope that other people step forward like this man. This is, this is amazing work and do this for all the areas. And Dara Koshashawi, Logan Green, Tony Zhu, um, all of you CEOs out there, you have to do a better job in 2022. This is destroying your company in the media. You look like fools because you are not doing anything about it. Please leave your comments and please stay safe. And please be on the alert. Um, lock your windows. Make sure you have pepper spray or whatever you need, right? Have 911 ready. Have a a dash cam like display ride that uploads the footage directly into the cloud. Um, huge shout out to my sponsors, legalrideshare.com. If you get into an accident, uh, displayride.com, uh, the dash cam that uploads into the cloud and EV now. That's if you're looking for an um, electric vehicle lease in 2022,
go to ridechairevnow.com. Have a good day, everyone, and please leave your comments below. Thank you.